Hello, this is Yo Sensei. In this video, we are going to talk about how to create interior lighting uh, setup in Twinmotion uh, using the file from Rhino. So, uh, before we get into Twinmotion, uh, we would like to create, uh, this is a sample scene of uh, interior space uh, using Rhino, and all of the objects are um, assigned to specific layer. Um, in this case, um, we have uh, this kind of globe light bulb uh, and uh, LED recess light as a lighting object in the scene. And uh, so to do that, um, for this kind of recess uh, lighting, what you can do is you can just create this kind of um, four inch diameter uh, buck uh, and this part is going to be one material and this is going to be uh, lighting illuminated uh, material. Um, and uh, so we will um, get into, uh, get this model uh, moved into uh, Twinmotion by uh, clicking on Twinmotion 2020 and synchronize. Okay. So when you synchronize uh, your Rhino, uh, your Twinmotion file is going to open. Uh, I'm just going to close it. And uh, your uh, object is going to, uh, your model is going to open in Twinmotion. So first thing that we can do is to select uh, illuminating material um, like um, neons and uh, neon02 uh, for the light bulb. And uh, we can also um, drag and drop neon02 to um, the recess light. So now uh, we are going to uh, see this model. So one thing that it would be really, really successful uh, in the daytime render is to uh, bring in natural light as much as possible. So uh, in this case, uh, we, have a, we have this bedroom view um, and uh, we would like to bring light from uh, this window. So what we can do is to change the uh, time of the day uh, and uh, so, so that you will find uh, natural light coming into this view uh, from this window. And uh, in this case, uh, we need to be very, very uh, accurate um, in terms of the site condition. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna change it to uh, person speed. Uh, so we can't really change the direction of the north. Um, if you don't have that kind of, you know, if you wanna show a very dramatic effect of that, uh, you can go into settings, uh, localization and change north offset to, you know, get the light to move into uh, the place that you want. Uh, but in this case, uh, we are not able to uh, do that. So, uh, we will get back to what it was. Okay, so uh, for, for different views, uh, I would recommend you to find um, the different time of the day uh, where light is going to come in. Um, so for example, in this view, I would like uh, for the light to come in um, from this side window through the, uh, through the tree. Uh, you can also change the season. Um, and then that is going to bring you, uh, bring in different light. So uh, find a way to uh, bring in the light uh, from uh, exterior window. This, this house just doesn't have too much uh, lighting. Okay, so uh, we go into the night view and uh, it's going to uh, create this lighting effect from um, the uh, natural illumination that we have created. But this is very, very dark. Uh, so what you need to do is um, to install uh, different types of lights. So in this case, I have this um, spotlight. And uh, so now I am going to go uh, from the objects, lights, and uh, spotlight. And then I'm just gonna put it uh, on this, on the ceiling. So now I have one spotlight. And um, so you can move this spotlight to where uh, this thing is. So that's good. 
So now, our next step is I would like to duplicate this um, spotlight uh, in uh, different places. So I'm going to drag this handle, uh, which is, you know, this inside of this arc area is going to be move handle. So hold shift key on your keyboard, shift on your keyboard and drag. And shift and drag is copying. And when you try to copy of the object, what's going to be is it's going to ask you instance or copy. Instance is going to be the objects with same property. So what do you, if you just instance copy these objects into different places, uh, it's just, and then you can change one brightness of the light bulb uh, and then everything else is going to change. So in this case, this is uh, appropriate. And uh, so I just, I will hold shift key and then drag uh, to copy the instances um, into different uh, parts. Oops, I want to hold the uh, shift key. So shift and drop, okay. Copy instance um, and uh, so this, this one is going to be uh, shift and drag drop and uh, so in this case you have to kind of you know go in and out and uh, look around to uh, find if it's placed in the right location okay and uh, so do we have more okay. we have one here shift and drag to here instance um, and shift drag instance to here. Okay. So uh, in this case, uh, we have another set of uh, light bulbs here. Do we have the light bulb? Yeah, well, they're illuminating. So just doing, so when you do the uh, spotlights like this, um, we have, This kind of view. And um, so where spotlight is illuminating is bright, but uh, it's creating too much contrast between uh, the different places. So what we can do, uh, I think, and also this light bulb is a little bit too bright. So I'm gonna take the material picker, click on this uh, light bulb and the glow, reduce the glow. Okay. So just having the spotlights is just not enough. So another thing that we would like to do is go into lights and uh, create omnidirectional light, which is the uh, uh, first one. So in this one, uh, we are going to cre create about three omni lights. Uh, that is kind of a general light that is going to illuminate uh, the space. So uh, omni light here. Oops. I think it just keeps kept creating only light. So this only light here, and then we want to bring it down to somewhere around the middle of the space. Um, so that's pretty good. And then uh, we can change the intensity of omni light down to uh, 54 lumen or something like that. So it's bright enough to get rid of these darker spots on the ceiling. Um, and then I will uh, again uh, shift and drag to copy. So somewhere around here would be fine as an instance. Uh, I'll bring it up so that the light is coming from uh, the light bulb. And then um, I am going to shift and drag the only light as an instance. And then uh, go into the bedroom. So bedroom is relatively uh, well lit from the Omni light, uh, which I'm going to change, uh, move around. So Omni light is relatively um, creating the uh, lighting environment uh, to be uh, very, very um, bright in general. So now I think um, the spotlights are blowing up the lighting environment a little bit too much. So I'm gonna click on one of the spotlights and then go down the intensity. So uh, it's creating some spots, but not too much. It's a little bit too 
to dark, and then you want to see some of the effect from the uh, spotlights. And turning on shadows will uh, give you a sense of shadow uh, from from this, uh, which is good. So. Um, in general, uh, you, what you would like to do is uh, to have a combination between um, spotlights and omnilights uh, that will be in the center of the space. So that's how you would uh, create lighting condition using uh, twin vision. Okay, thank you. <laughs>